Afternoon, Dave here. We're uh, finally moving forward, getting uh, starting the verticals. This is a uh, little press that I made, uh, just a little screw jack, and it works pretty good. I crushed a can under there and I, I did it mostly by hand I did use a little bar on the very end but this this screw jack is a little more work than a hydraulic jack but it does get the job done now I uh, was able to get some more metal metals getting outrageously priced but we got some so this is a uh, one <laughs> first stick up in the air that's a uh, 10 foot ladder right there and thank God my friend let me use this 10 foot ladder all I got is an 8 and I get pretty much up there but this is to show that you can um, one person by himself can actually do this you got to think about it a little bit and uh, be careful uh, you know it's one thing to make this thing that high and another thing to uh, crawl up there on that ladder and it's pretty high so uh, but we're moving forward and and I'll tell you the, the way I I did this uh, vertical was I, I used uh, uh, geometry of uh, Pythagorean's theorem you know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared to, to measure off the three points that I have here. That's all I got. Straight across the trailer, front and back. And you just uh, get your run and your rise and uh, square them. Add them together and get the square root. And I came up with all these numbers here. Now, this is a... Uh, this is going to be, you know, like a construction you walk around. So your tolerances aren't that close. I mean, if you're within an eighth inch, you're in good shape. And right now, when I pulled it up there, I had to pull it over this side a little bit. Now, it looks like it's leaning to the left a little. But it's, well, it is. But uh, the whole trailer is because I'm building this in my backyard. And the concrete, the way they make these subdivisions is they they uh, drain everything away from the house to uh, the center line of the fence between the houses and out to the street. Good way to keep the rain away from your foundation, but every but nothing's uh, plumb or level here in the backyard, which is no big deal. Uh, you just use uh, uh, Pythagorean's theorem and you square things and you get your hypotenuse here. Hypotenuse is the only thing you need to get things square. And uh, you use that and you don't need a square or a level, which um, sounds strange, but on a mobile unit like this, it's, it's virtually never really level, which like I said, doesn't matter. Anyway, just to show you how you can put one piece up here all by yourself uh, what I did was uh, clamp this piece of tubing in we clamped it in good and then uh, I stood my tubing up this this piece here is uh, 10 6 and an 8 I think that's what it is it's, it's gonna come out I get two inches Two inch tubing laying on top of it. it's gonna have a total of of uh, ten seven and a half off the deck to the observation deck and I'm, I'm just excited I finally got this is gonna be the observation deck with an expanded metal and uh, at this point I was only able to afford a couple sheets I'm gonna need a total of seven but uh, we'll work that out later. Yeah, uh, I'm so slow with this metal here. 
you're probably looking at uh, two or three months of work for me out here just piddling around by myself. Well, uh, if you like it, put a like, leave a comment. Talk to you later. Bye.